Hi everyone, welcome to the talk show of Elite Bengali Sims Real Estate. Today I have very special guest, very amazing personality, and she's pleasing personality. <laughs> she's uh, none other than uh, Felicia Adihetti. She's the managing director of Be Connected, and I've known her for ages. We'll talk about with her about celebrating diversity, celebrating cultures, and teamwork, alongside with event management. It is going to be a different episode for all of us. Also, keep that in your mind. You can hear the noises that you hear. Please bear with us. This is a recording. We do it in heart of Colombo. Hi, Felicia. Hi, Kason. Really good to be with you all today and to learn more about William Anglis as much as I share what Be Connected is about. Thank you. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. Felicia, now you all have amazing story. That story mm. you like to hear. Yes, sure. Yes, Kasun. Um, actually, we go back to almost 25 years ago, and that was in 1997. Uh, a passion that I had for mainly triggered by wanting to be a home-based mum, but yet be able to also um, do something with my career because I didn't want to give up my career just being a mum, and uh, that was uh, opening start. I had been working at Deutsche Bank, having lived overseas previously, and uh, at Deutsche Bank uh, there were quite a bit of event management that was done together with the HR functions. And uh, so then I asked them, uh, you know, why don't we get an event management company to do certain things? And event management was not that heard of at that time. And yeah, I thought that yeah, it wasn't. I mean, there were one or two like Roshan Vijayaratne. There were a few others, but uh, not as much. Um, you know, publicized. And then I said to myself, okay, so that's the kind of thing I'd like to be able to do. And uh, so we started with the very first. Actually, before I quit Deutsche Bank, uh, I got a project to work for the um, uh, conference for the UN. And uh, that conference brought on quite a bit of publicity. And I was interviewed by a newspaper reporter, Carol uh, Aloysius, and uh, uh, you know, a local or a local. local. No, it was a foreign conference, and but done locally and um, so as the newspaper reporter um, gave me a bit of gave us a bit of publicity at that time it was a sole proprietorship um, then I started talking about working mums uh, pursuing their careers so uh, that really was the start of it I would say and uh, I would say things have been amazingly uh, grown in leaps and bounds in other uh, parts of and yeah, you mentioned right. some time back with me, and um, you you did a lot of uh, corporate events, yes, the conference, Absolutely. because which is really rare in Sri Lanka now, even to date. Mm -hmm. Very few people can do conference management. It's it's a vast task. It is. Right? It is. So we just yeah. uh, explain. Yeah. Actually, and that's really if um, I think Be Connected is really known for corporate events. We are not into the concerts. We are not into too much. Uh, actually, hardly any entertainment. We we diverse. We really focus on conference management, which is a corporate. Um, um, of uh, you know event management, so that focuses why conference management because conference management le needs a lot of detail, Kasun. And when I say detail, it's from pre-event to during event to not finishing off at the hotel of the event, but post-event. Post yeah. And this is why a lot of people tend to fail, carry it through to the end. We start with what's the objective of this comp of this client, and carry the objective right to the end, so that we have constantly repeat clients who keep coming back to us. So, meaning you have to work with press, you need to work with hotels, yeah, travel, and it's especially delegation. So, Absolutely. So, Absolutely. why don't you talk about bit in those areas? Because yes. That's, so that's, that's what it's I. It's very new to people because you surely, and I may know a bit. Yes, there. surely. That's actually one of the things that really attracted me to when I looked at William Anglis, and I think you all at William Anglis have a big part to play in this. When while you have a travel, the hotel industry, uh, the culinary part of it, and you have the event management part of it, you have the hospitality. I think. I'm just suggesting Kasun at William Anglis maybe once in a while bring all the campuses together, uh, the faculties rather together, so that 
you see the interrelationship between each other because when it comes to a cooperative and especially conferences we start with meeting the client what is the concept what is their objective from there we get involved to agenda planning to the resource people liaising with the resource people getting a whether it be a hotel that the venue they want in colombo do they want a hotel that is outside do they want what is it a one day is it a three day how do we make the three days more um, interesting for the foreign delegates where are they coming from then we tie up with the airlines we try to work with sri lankan airlines who's a national carrier so that there's publicity for the national carrier and the hotel then we work very closely with the hotel making sure that the hotel staff are tuned in to working with foreign delegates of different nationalities so there comes the diet there comes the likes and don't likes what time is the food if it is um, of different uh, religions the prayer time so you have to have a prayer room for that so there's so many things yeah, that you yeah, need yeah. to look into and over the years li- literally near 25 years now we've really tried to look at all these dimensions that brings on multitasking that brings on a uh, research into different cultures research into different dietary requirements and thinking out of the box because i've in all the years of uh, event management i would say i've never done two events that are the same and that's the uh, excitement of events that's very very interesting very hear. very interesting because it's always and also it's a event manager's job to make it interesting so that we may have repeat clients but they'll say wow we didn't do this last time but this is something, something new okay. this year So yeah. now coming to the recruitment arm mm-hmm. and other services absolutely. shared services that mm-hmm. you are doing mm-hmm. so uh, how do you see that how yeah. do you see this balance absolutely so how the recruitment arm of be connected started was especially during the tsunami the, and our client base is mainly the foreign missions so the foreign missions were getting so many like world bank ifc world um, the un agencies they had so many missions that were coming to sri lanka to to help during the tsunami and they were all of foreign languages so they needed translators they needed interpreters they needed um, secretaries they needed a, a full array of staffing so they would ask us when we did a conference and they saw the caliber of staff we were providing uh, then the clients would say can you give us staff like this for 3 months 6 months or whatever so that actually moved on to a recruitment, recruitment arm of be connected so that started a second arm and a spin off from that into a third arm which was what we call corporate services so we were providing translators uh, simultaneous translators of all the languages interpreters interpreters rapporteurs uh, yeah. um, you know various even the media we had to bring in uh, partnerships with media companies it was really a, a really a beautiful uh, array of Uh, services we were providing so a uh, one stop shop yeah, if you say one stop yeah shop. absolutely so, you know uh, now uh, if you talking about the millennium so yes. started before millennium yeah. 1990 yes absolutely so now we are in millennium absolutely. we are going for better better 2020s yes. right or more more 2020 That's so uh, what uh, how do you see this difference the transformation yeah the transformation from a staffing angle uh, can be a little bit of a downer because i find that the the newer younger generation they the millennials if you call them unfortunately are not committed to long term st- uh, employment they would come work maybe 2 years 3 years max and they want to move on so we've had to adjust to that that's one challenge and actually now what we do that's why again i'm suggesting even to william anglis get them diversified in different angles so that they are thinking oh in this industry we can also be doing this we can also be doing something else so if you are a secretary you don't need to be only a secretary okay. to a boss you can do event management you can do rapporteuring there's so many different functions of a secretary so likewise is all the other challenges and some people are uh, skilled in one area may not even be good in english but they're very skilled in 
photography in videography so uh, uh, the technology how yeah. do you see in events now the technology very important actually uh, social media and technology has taken i would say literally another angle altogether not just in event management even in our staffing how do we get our staff it's all on whatsapp it's all on social media it's all on facebook and we are able we even generate open house all through that uh, social, social media so that's really the digital arm of marketing that has taken on we used to advertise in the newspapers but now very rare, very rare. it's all on uh, social media so uh, sirisha now we have to go to the today's discussion point it's today's discussion point is all about uh, celebrating culture celebrating diversity and teamwork so why don't you talk about because you are very passionate about absolutely. it absolutely that's really uh, if i were to say uh, the underlying theme in everything that we do because i believe cultural diversity is so important in sri lanka in bringing you know when we look back um, the uh, you know the war the different conflicts that we have had why because we have not really touched those sensitive issues and um, actually uh, one of the real successes of be connected was uh, the world's largest 24 hour book sale uh, the big bad wolf where we had to staff close to 400 people and of and we brought them from all parts of sri lanka what was the motive of bringing them from all parts we want we were thinking this is a perfect opportunity because they have to work 24 hours together in different shifts so we had colombo international school children working with uh, village kids from a university at the rohunu campus or from down south or from uh, the east even from jaffna who were living in colombo but who were passionate to try and work yeah, together yeah, yeah. so that brought cultural diversity and to date we have those groups who are who have come together who work together they have friendships relationships and we have found so many jobs for all of them so cultural diversity i think is part of our as um, people in business who can really promote this kind of thing that's from a recruitment arm but from in terms of the events arm uh when we have foreign delegates coming we really try to show them the culture Absolutely. of sri lanka so there we try as much as possible uh you know have at least one afternoon one evening where we are able to take them out show them the sure, beauty of sri lanka uh, sometimes we even as they arrive we take them to an a place where they can see the nature th- going through and have have stopped by in places where uh they mingle with the village people they see the because it's ex- absolutely because at the end what would they talk sometimes not just what they learned at the conference but the memories of an experience no felicia now sri lanka uh, uh, countries like us this very very uh, dense about the culture cultural uh, aspect and the diversity absolutely. how do you how do you see this how do you want to address these issues yeah um good question kasun in terms that's why i said if we can um i believe now the the education is also being looked at because they find that these are things that we can do right from childhood so if we can bring this into the education curriculum um in our case when the kids come to us uh, as school leavers after a levels that's something we really talk to them because even in an interview we talk talk in terms of life skills as well as their skills for a job we talk in terms of values we talk in terms of accountability in terms of transparency so many things that we try to and also the values of life how do they respect some other religion how do they respect a child from uh, who's non english speaking so we try to bring this that's why we try and bring them in together and the team work i would say i have uh, staff who are from mbas uh, to a much junior level but the way they interact the way they team together uh, i would never say one person is better than the other because uh, if we as leaders if we can look at them this person has a talent that no one else has yeah. 
uh, Khasun, last week we had open house at Be Connected. And I believe it's the start of a new era for Be Connected, where we interviewed a girl with no limbs, okay. just no hands. And she's got two degrees. She's excellent that English. That is for your staff or for the staff? No. Actually, I haven't decided where she's going to work. But in my heart is a drive that I want to start looking. I be connected, have to start looking at the special talents of these people who are specially uh, able. Not differently able, but specially <laughs> able. I think what happens, majority of us, uh, again, I bring that back into the culture. In Sri Lanka, the culture is that when someone is disabled, you think of the disability. But what really came out of this particular individual was all of us at Be Connected saw the special abilities Ability. of her. So if we can start changing the mindset from disabled to special able. So uh, going back to you, right? Your amazing personality. What? How do you spare your time? What are your hobbies? Yeah. Um, for me, I I would say um, actually the spirituality drives me a lot, Kasun. Um, I believe, and through that spirituality, I found the purpose of life. Okay. Uh, I'm not just here as someone who started a homegrown business, but I'm here to serve a purpose for which I've been given skills, I've been given whatever talents or whatever you call it. But it's not for me, it's for everyone. everyone. And how I uh, diversify those talents uh, is what really drives me. And uh, so I look at people in those, in those, with those eyes, I would say. Yeah. So going back to uh, William Anglis, you have uh, visited at William Anglis since that's it. Uh, Very interesting. Occasion. Very I interesting. want to hear your impression about this. Yes, um, actually, I wish I had met some of the other faculties as well. Uh, I was so impressed by your event management arm, the way they conducted that Women's Day Interna um, International Women's Day program, from having a hostess, individual hostess per resource persons. I've never, even as an event organizer, <laughs> I don't do that. I'll be very honest with you because we can't afford to have one for each resource person. Uh, but uh, you did that marvelous. The girls were meticulously dressed, detail oriented. The agenda ran clockwork. Uh, you got the best out of all the resource people. The food was excellent, very well done. Uh, you know, there was a mix of everything that seemed to work really well. So your event management arm definitely is doing something right. Thank you. Kudos Thank you. to them. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to hear that. Yeah. And uh, uh, Felicia, now, um, if I ask you, why did you select this industry or this uh, fancy industry? I would say yeah. event management is so much fancy and so many, you meet so many people. I ask it. myself that question yeah. sometimes. I think uh, basically in me is a person who looks for detail. Okay. I'm very much a detail oriented person and I want, um, unfortunately, it's a bit of a, it can be good and it can also be bad because you want everyone to work with detail. And uh, so it's not always, especially with the millennials, uh, you know, they just are in a box and they want to be in that box and then they, you know, just for a short period. But when you tell them, and that's that's really the culture that we are building at Be Connected. Yeah. We are saying, no, you're not. I have my finance person who came in as an accounts. Now today she's the head of operations. She's directing HR with finance Fine. background. Okay. She's got her MBA she, with HR. Uh, she's handling HR and she's handling, uh, assisting in events. So it's wherever she goes, multitasking. 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 Absolutely. So Felicia, finally, we have come to the end of the talk show. What is your message to the public? My message to the public is um, whatever you do, be passionate about what you do. Whatever, even, even if you're doing sales, be passionate. If you're doing typing, be passionate, attend to the details of what you're doing. If you are doing marketing, uh, find out what is the end result of whatever. Always look at 
the end and work towards that end so you are driving yourself to that that goal which is the objective of everything that is given to you even in your studies ideally if you all can before the a levels sit down with a career guidance person ask the teachers teacher can we meet a career guidance person before we choose the subjects for our a levels so you're looking at after a levels what can you go into and for those who have not done that there's a lot of hope believe me because it doesn't mean because you've done science that you cannot do something else that's totally out of science you can definitely be doing that and how does that come from a mindset of being multitasked of being passionate about what you do of being committed very importantly being honest so that people will come back to you because they trust you why would they come to you or oh, they are reliable they will do something that they said they will deliver the money you get you have to account for every cent that you get and be accountable for what you do that's really my message from deep within my heart and i really uh, love to really talk to young ones who are going into a new career who are going into a new pathway be committed be passionate and be having the right values so thank you felicia for your thoughts and for your message ladies and gentlemen we were listening to an interesting episode today it's all about celebrating diversity celebrating culture and teamwork also event management how we do event management in sri lanka and delegation and conference management so that's very interesting topic that we are we discuss thank you very much for watching please do not forget to subscribe us and also do not put the bell marking thank you very much look forward to seeing you in another episode thank you